All right, so we've already taken a look at some chemical equations previously in the class. Let's just go ahead over chemical equations and just point some things out. So for example, here, we're gonna take a look at the combustion of methane, which is CH4. So it's gonna be CH4 combining with two uh, molecules of oxygen. Both of these in gaseous form to form carbon dioxide as a gas and then two waters as a gas. So let's just point out different parts of this um, chemical equation. So on the left side, these are our reactants, right? And then on the right side are our products. And then in the middle, we have an arrow. Uh, maybe you notice some other stuff in the arrow, either above or below. Maybe you'll see a triangle sometime. Sometimes that just means that you're gonna add heat to it. Um, so anyways, the reactants turn into products. We also have these little subscripts right over here. In this case, they're all G for gas, but this describes the phase of the compound. So if it's a G, it's a gas. If it's an L, it's a liquid. If it's an S, it's a solid. And then finally, if it's an AQ, it's an aqueous solution, which means that it's dissolved in water, right? And we're human, so we live on earth, so water is a very big deal for us, so it gets its own little symbol. A lot of things dissolve into water. Up front here, this two right here, this is the coefficient. And that just tells you how many of that uh, compound that you have. So in this case, we have two O2s. So we have one O2, the Lewis structure looks like that. And then we have another O2. So in total, we have four oxygen atoms, but only two molecules of O2. If there's no coefficient in front, that means that you have a one there. And the one is generally omitted. So if there's no number in front, that means that it's actually just a one. And the key thing with equations and chemical equations is that they must be balanced. And what that means is that everything on the left side must, must appear on the right side. We cannot create nor destroy matter. We can just rearrange it. So for every um, atom that exists on the left, the, the same atom must exist on the right. So I'm just gonna rewrite the chemical equation. CH4 plus 2O2, and then goes to CO2 plus 2H2O, right? And again, it must be balanced. So let's go ahead and check that this equation is balanced. There's different ways that you can format this, and you can use whichever one you feel um, best with. For example, you could have reactants over here, and then products over here, and then you can list your element, right? Carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, that kind of thing. Um, that's one way to do it. The way I like to do it is to have each individual atom by itself. So we'll have carbon over here, and then I'll make two rows. On the left side, I'll have talking about the reactants. And then on the right side, I'll be talking about the products. And then we just look through our chemical equation and see which elements we have, right? We have the carbon, we've got the hydrogen, and we've got the oxygen, right? Those are the only three um, elements here. Let's take a look at carbon. On the left side, we've only got one carbon from the CH4. On the product side of things, we only have one carbon from the CO2. Next up, we have hydrogen. We have four hydrogens from the CH4. And then on the product side, we have two hydrogens in each molecule of water, but then we have two molecules of water. So we have four hydrogens there. And then finally, oxygen. On the reactant side, we have two O2s, which is four total atoms of oxygen. And on the right side, we have an O2 there, and then we have two waters over here, which adds up to a total of four oxygens. And so what we can see is that this equation is indeed balanced.
And then here's just a pictorial representation of the same thing, right? You can see we have one molecule of methane, CH4, reacting with two molecules of O2 to form one CO2 and then two waters. And then if you count up the amount of atoms on each side, they're the same. And that's always has to be true. Our equations always need to be balanced.